Hello, this is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store, and I want to show you how to set the automatic knotting or tying off button on your Elna Experience 550. So when you are sewing in your regular mode, just zero, zero, that's your regular mode, most of the time you are going to do your stitching with the reverse, your secure stitch with the reverse. And I wanna show you what that looks like, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put the foot down. I'm left, I'm doing, trying to do it with my left hand, there we go. And I always like to start with my needle in the down position. It keeps my thread from making a little rat nest back there. And I'm going to go ahead, start sewing, by pushing that. If I wanna reverse, I go backwards and then it's going to keep going. Now, it's only gonna reverse while I'm holding that down. So if I wanna do that, I have to hold it down, it'll go backwards and then it goes forwards again, okay? So that is normally how you tie off, correct? I want to show you how to do a knot with this right here when you are sewing you can go ahead and press that button and it's going to make a knot see it's sewing in one spot now if i start sewing it'll go forward i can press this button it's going to slow down and make a knot again in one spot and then it's going to stop i can raise my needle right there raise my foot Take this off. You have your little needle thread cutter on the side of the machine. The next stitch I want to show you how to use is the one that is an automatic knotter. And you can program this on your directly on your machine. Get this thread out of the way. Now, the different thread stitches you have on the 550 are going to be right here. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that out and the automatic knotting with a reverse stitch is this little zero one. You see the three little lines right next to it? That means that it's going to do three little stitches forwards and backwards so that you can go ahead and tie off where you need to be. The next one, zero two, it's going to do three little stitches in the same spot so that you can tie off. So let me show you how to do that. Zero, one, we're going to change our setting right here to zero, one. Now, when I start to sew, okay, what that is going to do is let me go ahead and start sewing. It's gonna take automatic back stitches it's going to go forward now when i press the reverse button it takes four backwards and takes four forwards and it stops so i can go ahead take that out and that gives me four stitches forwards four stitches backwards. Now I'm using a contrasting thread so that you can see what I'm doing. I would normally be using purple so you couldn't see it. So this is gonna knot off automatically by going four forward and four backward. Let me show you again, okay? I'm gonna pull this out of the way. I'm going, I have it set on zero, one. That means when I start sewing, right here or with my foot pedal it's going to take four stitches forward four stitches backwards and it's going to go until i hit the reverse button that's the clue for it to stop but it's going to take four stitches forward four stitches backwards and it will stop so let's do that four stitches forward four stitches backward so 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 hit my reverse button backwards now it's going to go forwards and it's done raise my needle and i can take this out okay so the next stitch i want to show you is the stitch that is zero two 
that is going to be right there, zero two, and that is going to tie off by doing three little stitches all in the same place. Let me show you how we're going to do that. We're going to change this to zero two, okay? I'm going to set this up right here. Now we're going to go ahead, take this right there, ready? I'm going to press my start button. It's going to take three stitches in the same spot. One, two, three. Now it's gonna sew and it's gonna go until I hit the reverse button. It takes three stitches and it stops. So I have control how long I want my seam to be. I don't have to get it all done in a certain amount of space. I have control, but I also can knot it at the beginning and end. So I'm gonna slow this down a whole lot so you can see it. I'm still on zero two right there. It's going to take the stitches in place, okay? It's gonna go forwards and backwards, stitches in place until I tell it to stop. So I'm going to go ahead, start, one, two, three, four. Now it's going to sew forward. You see it going forwards? And let's say I wanna go all the way to the end. I'll speed it up just a little bit. Okay. And now I wanna tie off right there. Press my reverse button one time. It's going to tie off right there. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to work with your setting zero, 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 one, and zero, two.